Welcome back to Lower Guck, everybody. We've got a really good encounter for you because this one has the possibility of dropping the rune cowl. It's a nine intelligence item. Yep, and you know who that is, the ghoul sage. He's really, really tough because he comes in a room with three others. Now, this is a safe level to do it at 39. Usually he has like casters in the room that are just gonna blast right through you. And so you wanna get some levels on it. It's a very difficult because uh, with the two that are behind the wall, and I'll show you that, it'll be kind of difficult. But first, let's talk about where we are. We're at the bridge area right here. If you need to know how to get down here, watch the video titled How to Navigate Lower Yuck. If you want more detail, go ahead and look at the video on how to farm the light burlap sack. That'll show you how to get past the bats and the ice bones. Okay, so these are levels right here. This is the map. I'll keep the map up for you. I use height filter because we're going to jump off the sides. The key to this game are should be able to use Beguile because in the tower area at the bottom, they usually max out at level 37. Uh, if it's going to be more, that'll be a surprise. We're going to also go with the regular low-level Mesmerize. And in addition to that, we're going to go with Entrance. And Entrance here is the longest-lasting Mez we have. It's important because we want to really lock some stuff down in there. Then we're also, as a as a precaution, we're going to go with Rune 3. Get your Rune on because this is the only thing that's going to save you. You are going to get hit. And most likely you're going to get hit by casters, which is going to get scary because uh, they can pretty much kill us in one round uh, if all three of them are firing. The Sage is also a caster. So you got him as a caster. You've got the other guys. You can probably be all four casters in there. We also have in here uh, Color Shift. This is to... Pop this to interrupt casting and keep them locked down long enough for us to pop the mez on them. And then we're going to use calm so we can hopefully calm one or two of them out of there. Maybe two of them and then go ahead and engage the other guys. If we can engage the other guys and lock them down, then we're in business. So it's going to be kind of interesting. Here's the easiest way to get there <clears throat> is to jump off this thing here. Now, um, I want to mention if you enjoy watching these videos, consider hitting the join button and becoming a channel member if you do you're going to be able to get to see the videos one or two weeks before they come out also make sure you drop by one of the live stream streams and if you'd like there's a dollar sign you can hit the donation all right here but here we go oh yeah keep up uh levitate you want to have a levitate on and invisibility undead uh, also see inviso too keep in mind the sage does see inviso so the first way we're going to go is we're going to go right down here Let's go down here. This is the easiest way to go. Now you can see with height filter on, the whole bottom is lit up right down here. So we're going to go all the way to good old Sage right there. Okay, so follow along. Now you notice these guys in the hallway. They're going to be a little bit tricky because they can actually come in his room and ruin our party. Yes, and we are getting close here. You'll notice that right there. Okay, there's there's the first guy. Here's the wizard. He is level 36. Can't see through Inviso. This guy here is level 37. Now what you notice is he's in a, a position here where if we cast an area of effect mez, we may catch the other guys. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I click through it and I what did I get? I got an Erd uh, wizard. Okay, so we're going to be in action here. So we're going to be able to pull him out. If we can snap this guy here, the Sage, Erd, wow. Let's see what else can we get. Uh, trying. Okay, so Erd. Okay, so what you got is Erd is the first one. He's the closest. So the way it is, is Erd is here and there's one behind him. And then you have the Sage right here. He can see through Inviso, but we should be able to pass him. Then you have this young guy here. He's 36. So we got the Erd in there. We're going to pacify the, this guy, the Erd, and then we're going to pacify the Sage. And we get all these guys pacified. One guy in the back may come, so we may get two. Uh, let's be careful over here. Let's see if we can swing it around and get a better view. We can't. Can't do any more than that. So let's go ahead and start to pacify and get the action going. My main 
job here is going to be to get the stuff Mez down, charm one of these guys, and of course, the Wizards ones are not my favorite to charm, but to charm one and get them to fight it out here, it's always good to get root on them, but these two undeads will we'll just get them to fight it out with each other, and if we have to, we'll Mez one. You have to Mez them because they're casters. If you just root them, they'll still keep casting on you. Okay, so we're going to tr try to go for three out of four here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this guy drop a mez on him if the other guy comes out we'll mez him and then we'll pick these guys up and then we'll get the sage locked down we gotta work real fast cross your fingers cuz here comes game time Ooh, that's scary he resisted calm could it be that he has such high magic resist okay landed okay so next thing let's go for this the guy in the back here the Ur Erd guy. Uh, sometimes he. Okay, he got it. And then we're going to go swing back around to the Sage. And. He, oop! He didn't. So this other wizard, we're going to go ahead and Mez him. He's going to be the pet. We got a few moments. Got him, Mez. Sage, you're going on Mez. And gotcha. This guy, let's go ahead and pacify him real quick run around with the pacify real quick other guy in there okay we're good let's take this wizard quickly 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 got to operate real fast and we're gonna get him and then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna lock down some stuff in here the ghoul sage let's go ahead and do this and buy ourselves a little more time uh-huh and then this guy here here comes our next uh, dummy he's coming out here we're gonna lock him down lock him hard and you're whoa and just try to get him because that other guy is going to come out of his his stupor very very soon he's going to go on a hard lock i can't believe it wow these guys are resisting mez this is nuts okay gotcha okay so there's ghoul wizard here and we're going to go ahead get a tosh on you you guys are crazy let's pop him with a point blank stun Here's why we use a stun here. We need to really get this guy on a hard mess to lock him down for a long time. I cannot believe this. He's breaking out of the mess and they're gonna keep firing like this. Come on, lock him. Okay, he's locked. The ghoul sage, let's go ahead and get him. The young guy, this guy here. Let's get him, locking him hard. Got him. Okay, so there, now we're in business. Ghoul sage, we have a nuke waiting for you. We're gonna let this battle get a little closer now that we're in shape here and let's hit him let's hit him all pedal to the metal and oh he resisted huh anarchy should fix his wagon they're always a tough booger yeah let's save the little mana to remez these guys Got him, and he dropped the braided cinch cord. So now we got these two guys here. What do they have on them? They have 20 something seconds. Let's go ahead and get this here. Lock him again. And this guy, he has all his stuff on. So he dropped uh, the braided cinch cord. This is his common drop. It's a nice belt item. Okay, now this guy here, we have a little bit of mana. We can go ahead and start changing things up here. Let's go and... Uh, so I was going to dispel him. That would help a little bit. I'm going to send our guy right at him. But we really need to get the mana back up. Okay, go guys. Fight it out. Fight to the death. And this guy, meanwhile, will just keep him on in trance. It's a shame we can't sit down. Let's get a little more aggro going. There you go. You guys fight it out. I'm going to clear him all out this way. So, oh, and he didn't like that. I'm going to keep knocking him and stay in here to avoid any roamers. And this is a young guy. Okay, so this guy, he needs to go back on lock. We're going to manage the mana. We're just going to work the uh, mez and the charm here. Yeah, he's trying to root me while the other guy's blasting him here. And this guy here, oh, he's the one that's winning. Excuse me. Okay, so he will be the next pet after they're dead. Oh, and he turned into dungeon rot infected. Well, well, well.
Okay, we're gonna fire away. We're supposed to drop. Oh, he's got way too much mana. Way too much health. Okay, let's get him. Oh, oh that was close. So, what did he drop here? Uh, just spores, nothing. Nothing item. Let's go ahead and make sure sit down a little bit. Let our guy get back up. We're probably going to lose our guy. He turned into Dungeon Rot Infected also. And our little wizard guy is going to regen. We can also go like this. Let's play it like this. We just hit level 40 off this. We will need it for the next encounter. And wait for it to go all the way back up. Our guy will get health back and we can fire away. And keep in mind you can always put a rune on your guy here. So dungeon rot is 35. Our guy is 37. Okay, he has good good odds. So just keep this guy mez for a little while longer. If you want to take his shielding down, you can uh, just load something easy like Cancel Magic. That'll take one buff off him. We have 32 seconds. We're going to wait. Look at our, our guy. is almost back up. And then once we kill him, we just blur him off. Unless you want to kill him again. You can keep him here as your pet. Here comes Dungeon Rod. He's coming out of it. Let's Cancel Magic on him. It's going to be an even fight. We took it down. All right. Sending him on his bro. There we go. Go ahead, fire at me, why don't you? All right. Kill Dungeon Rot for me. We'll just wait over here. Let them blast each other. Our guy is going to obviously win this because he's higher level. And we'll just toss in a nuke when needed. Here we go. Nice thing about down here is nobody runs. He's still trying to instill me, which is kind of funny. And there we go. He just dropped those spores. And I have erred, which is a quest item. So more spores. And there we go. So our guy has gone the distance for us. Now what we can do if we want to get rid of him, we can. Uh, it's going to be hard to kill him straight up. So what I would do is I would load Invisibility Undead. If you're going to keep the camp, just keep mezzing him and keep him locked down. That's all you do. But uh, what we're going to do is go Invisible Undead, Mez and Blur. Okay, so watch this. Invisible Undead. And he has come out of it. And we're going to go ahead and go ahead and drop a big Mez on him. And then we're going to go ahead and Blur him. Eh, that didn't work. See, you'll see he's still on the extended target list. So that means you just got to try again. It's always good to... Let's go right behind. It's always good to use a um, longer mez just in case you need to hit him a couple times. There you go. He's off. And we're going to go back on Invisibility Undead. And you can sit right here. Um, you can even go back into the room once you got it. You got four, and you can also pull the executioner room on top of it. All right, everybody, good luck. Uh, here's the, the stats I want to show you. It's a braided cinch cord. It's intelligence four. Of course, if you're going to compare them to two, I would take the Drake scale belt because it has extended enhancement, which in my opinion is worth a lot more than just four intelligence. But keep in mind, the sage can also drop the rune cow, which is nine intelligence for the hat. That's his rare drop. So keep up with the hunt and hopefully you get it. Thanks for watching everybody and good luck out there.